Underneath the engine on the passenger side, there is a splash shield protecting the belt and pulleys. We're gonna use our 27 or T27 Torx bit to go ahead and remove these two screws here. We're gonna remove the shield. Now that we have that cover off, you can see the serpentine drive belt right here. Uh, it used to be the full width of the pulleys and it has now shredded and is dry rotted. And the other way we can get this off is to cut it. This does not have an adjuster on here or a tensioner. So we're gonna have to use a special tool to install the new belt. So let's go ahead and cut this belt now. You wanna wear safety glasses. And then go ahead and remove the belt. And we'll throw this out. With our old belt removed, let's take the new belt. We're gonna feed this down. And this is what they call a stretch to fit belt. I'm gonna feed this around our alternator. This will go down around our AC system. Let's go ahead and get underneath the vehicle and finish the installation. So let's go ahead and install our guide tool right here. I'm gonna get our 18 millimeter socket on the crankshaft. So once you get the belt lined up and put on, it's gonna take maybe three to five revolutions for the belt to walk its way all the way on, fit onto all of the ribs on all of the pulleys. You have your crank, your AC or non-AC pulley, and then you have your alternator pulley up top. Make sure all the ribs are lined up. Let's get install our belt cover here and take one of our screws. I'm gonna go ahead and get that started by hand. I'm going to grab the other screw and do the same for this one here. Once those are in, we'll just go ahead and snug those down. <laughs> 